All right, so we're going to take a few minutes to talk about the station necklace that we showed you at the top of the hour, okay, if you, uh, if you uh, saw the beginning of the show. Uh, this is uh, one of the most popular things that we do year in, year out with different kinds of chains and different kinds of pearls, but cultured pearl and chain is the most iconic item in the jewelry industry, the most classic item that Honora or any pearl manufacturer makes. Uh, they, you will wear this necklace tomorrow, you will wear it next year, you will wear it five years from now, you'll wear it 10 years from now. And sometimes, no matter what you pay, if you buy something really faddish, Okay, and it goes away. Okay, the fad goes away. You don't have it when you buy something that's classic and beautiful. This will be with you forever. This is J421668. Okay, Honora White Cultured Pearl Forzatina Station Necklace. Okay, and this is um, in uh, 16 inch with a two inch extender. I'm sorry, 18 inch plus a two inch extend extender. Excuse me. So this will run out to uh, to 20 inches. Okay, uh, full length, we have nine millimeter ring pearls. Now we used ring pearls on here uh, because these ring pearls are very organic. And right now that's kind of what's in. People are asking us less for the perfectly round pearls in a lot of these necklaces. They want ovals, they want baroques, they want these ring pearls. They want pearls that have more character, I, I would call it. And uh, that's what the ring pearls are. These pearls are ringed in nature. We don't do anything to enhance it. They're in the mollusk, and as they're growing, okay, the pearls literally rotate. And as they rotate, they rub up against other items that are in the mollusk. It doesn't happen to every pearl. It's just once in a while. And you get these beautiful, it looks like they've been carved on a lathe, almost uh, if, if you ever did pottery work or woodwork and you began to carve something. And here's a look at one of these mollusks that you'll see with fresh water, large pearls in there. Those bumps that you see up there on the upper right-hand side, okay, are going to be the pearls once we pop them out of that membrane skin that's in there. And they're going to come out all different colors, all different shapes, all different sizes, and then we have to collect, 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 collect. So we literally will collect millions and millions of pearls to get just one size and uh, enough pearls in one size, in one type, in one color, okay, that we can make a necklace like this. So here we are, we've saved these nine millimeter beautiful ring pearls for this particular necklace, okay? And we did seven, there, there's seven pearls in the necklace. I'm sorry, so here, let me get you an, a, a nice view of it draped out. There's seven pearls, okay, in the necklace. Okay, I'm gonna show you both types, okay? On the bust, I've got the yellow gold, okay, over the sterling silver, okay? And here in the white, I've got the rhodium plated white over, over sterling silver, seven nine millimeter pearls. We like using these large size ring pearls because they really have a presence. This looks cool. It's a great summer necklace. Uh, one of the things we've been talking about today, and here you get a nicer look at the chain, which you can't see when I'm showing it to you. This is this, this Forzatina chain, which is I think really special, is an updated, an Italian updated cable chain. Now in the old days, cable chain was just wire. So you had two wires, but here you can see how much more metal, how much more it's either if it's, we're using gold or if we're using silver. Look at the flat discs and they're kind of really solid. You can kind of see how well made they are going one into another. So instead of these light wire cable chains, we can now use something that's really, really substantial. Why is that important? Well, first of all, okay, light chains tend to break. Uh, a chain like this is really sturdy. You don't have to worry about this. You can go knock around in this. Nothing's going to happen to this chain. This chain's going to hold up on you really well. Okay. Now you yank this and pull it with all your might. Yes, you can break a chain. But normal wear walking around, sometimes your a, a light cable chain will just literally break apart on you after years of use. This is really, really going to stay there. There's a good look at, the, again, those pearls there. You're going to see those ring pearls. They're carved by nature. There's a good stop right there. You can see how they're literally carved all the way around. The pearl is turning inside of that mollusk as it's being made. This is nature's art. I love these pearls, and I collect them as much as I possibly can when we can get them with good luck. Luster. The problem is, again, only a few percent come out with luster that Honora will accept to make an item. It's got to have nice kick. If it doesn't have nice kick, it's not going to look great on the necklace. There you are seeing both colors. Okay, again, 18 inch plus a two inch extension, extension pearl forcetina station necklace, South Sea. It's got a, a very pretty lobster claw clasp. 
Again, we don't like using these little tiny spring spring ring clasps. They're so difficult to use. We've gotten so many letters over the years. We just, whenever possible, I don't remember the last time I used a small lobster claw clasp in anything. This is a really pretty, a pretty, uh, a pretty good size. There you are. Thanks to my producers. They're, they're all over everything that we do to show you exactly what I'm talking about. And there you are. You can see the little Honora H in there, so you know it's Honora. That's, uh, that's our, our logo there on the right. And look at what a nice size that clasp is for not an oversized chain, so but we want to oversize the clasp because if you're going to have to take this on and off, okay, you don't want to fight the necklace every time you decide to put it on and off. I mean, it's some uh, women I know are in tears over sometimes getting a clasp on. So uh, again, this necklace available 18 plus a two inch extension. There you see that extension, okay, either in the white silver, uh, sterling silver, either way, either with the white rhodium. Okay, or with the yellow gold, 14 karat yellow gold plate over the metal, okay? And we use a substantial amount of plate. You're not going to see these necklaces turn color. We make sure that these necklaces, they're gonna stay the way they look, okay? This is how it's made. And if you look on the market, and you check and you see uh, what kind of processes people use, you'll very rarely see rhodium over silver. Rhodium is one of the most expensive metals out there. You won't see sometimes yellow gold. You'll see people call through things like e-coat, uh, which there's sometimes it's like a film that's put over something uh, to protect it. But no, the, these are these are done to make your your jewelry look exactly the same as if you bought gold or platinum. It's going to have that look when you wear it. It's going to have that feel when you put it on, and it's a feel and look of quality that you can only get with this sort of plating. It's why, you know, sometimes we, we might be a, a little bit more expensive doing it this way, but it's worth it and that's what you want. Okay. All right, so now 